Badfoot, and today we're going to make a swamp in Dungeon Alchemists. And we're going to do that by going to our, our Dungeon Alchemist, going to Grasslands, putting the elevation as flat, putting the water as um, probably island, and the vegetation as none. And then we're going to create this thing. And the reason is because, the reason we're doing it this way is because uh, what I wanted to do is to, um, what I found in terms of making your swamp is you want mainly water and add the land to the water. So here we go, here we have uh, what we can do with a, what we can do here is, is start to make our swamp. And here is our cool looking swamp and I'll show you, um, I can, I can lower terrain by uh, just kind of like doing this and making some land and I can also raise my terrain however I want um, and start to have it come up um, in different places like this. I like this I like this raising the terrain look a little better than than I do um, trying to sink my terrain and that's just that's just from from my experience making it. Um, and just having a little bit of land poking up um, where I want. It might take a little bit of, of time. But so now if you're going to make the swamp, this is one of the things uh, we can think about as we start making it is what color you want it, uh, whether you want it to be kind of a green swamp like this, or you can come over here and you can make it kind of a, a brown and nasty swamp with maybe some green, maybe no green, uh, or you can even have a darker swamp, depending on kind of the, the I, I like to, I like to mix and match a little bit. Um, and so there you go, and you can kind of do it how you want. Um, so that is kind of the way I start with my swamp. Now let me go ahead and open up my, my swamp that I've already worked on. And in my Dungeon Alchemist, um, my Dungeon Alchemy maps, and let's go to Swamp. Okay, so when you make a swamp uh, for a battle map, there's a couple things you got to think about, uh, and that is that your players are going to come through the swamp one way or another which means they're either going to come through on a path or on a boat. So um, we're going to go ahead and change the sun brightness. So here, here we go with, um, with this, and uh, I've created this so they can come through on a boat. Now, if, you wa if I wanted to, I could just extend my... I have the little path that I started here, and I used to have a little path that went across here. Um, but so... If it's just these intermittent pools and lands, you're gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be um, weird, uh, which is okay. I mean, they could get wet, um, but so I've chosen at least for right now for this to be my um, for this to be uh, the water the water pathway, and I really don't like the way these sticks are looking. They look like they're floating on top of the water, which I don't want. So. Um, now you can see I've taken logs and I've sunk them down to the bottom. Um, so um, just to make it look cool, I can and I've put some rocks on the bottom. I can put other stuff on the bottom. The sticks did not work the way I wanted them to. Let's see if I can get this one to sort of be on the bottom. I really can't. So maybe these, maybe those float. I don't know. Um, but swamps tend to have a consistent vegetation type. Um, I put in a lot of different kinds of vegetation in here, but I chose this as my sort of predominant vegetation, um, and I like it. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I like the way that it shows up. I tried to make it happen um, on land and sometimes put it in the water. Um, sometimes you can just, it looks cool with the water underneath it a little bit, so that, um, like over here, and that looks just like a fun swamp to have an encounter in. Um, the other thing I always like to do is play with the light because the light's going to, you know, my channel here is going to get different um, 
my, my channel here is going to look differently in different lights. You can see that with that light, it, it has one sort of look. With this light, it has another kind of look. Um, at night, you can barely see anything in it. Um, but what, I might, well, what you might want to do is sort of play with, let me get the thing over here, is sort of play with the, uh, the, the intensity of that, uh, of the light. So you can kind of see, make the water look how you want it to. And then with the sun height, the higher it is, um, you might get some clarity in the water. And if it's right over the water, you're going to get uh, a reflection on the water. So um, you can see how it, what happens when it hits that water here in the lower left corner. And so um, I kind of like that. I mean, that looks cool too. And so I can, I can play with it any way I want it. Oh, yeah, that's, that's too much, right? Um, okay, so I can play with it. I can get the shadows how I want it. Um, I can adjust the colors. I can make all sorts of stuff. Um, and so I'm going to throw this up free on my Patreon for you guys to play with um, and see, wh and see what, what works for you. Um, I will throw it up in a couple different light configurations with and without that grid. Uh, and I like, I personally like to have some screenshots. So I'll put some of those in there as well. Um, for example, I just like, I just like to rotate. I just like to rotate it, you know, down like this as best I can. Now they say player views are coming, but I like to give you, I like to give the players a little bit of a like, hey, this is what you see. That's just me. That's just bad foot. So uh, check it out on my Patreon, the Gremlin Brothers, and check out all the other stuff we've got there for.